Good morning, folks. We've got some cool stories to hit today. We had a special video come out last night you won't want to miss. And we are starting, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star were relatively calm in terms of eruptive activity. But the northern coronal hole is visible incoming. Just behind it sits the arching umbral fields of an active region. The solar wind arriving at Earth is very weak. All telemetry and normal range here from Discover and ACE satellites, and so we're entering another day of quieter geomagnetic conditions. The active region on the north, just cresting the limb, has a very large umbral magnetic field expanse, but most appear to be connected to surface magnetic areas rather than developed sunspots. In fact, the lead umbra is all we see. The solar flaring from this grouping is unlikely to occur without the development of peripheral spots behind that lead umbra. We'll be watching for that as it turns in. The top seismic event of the last day was an aftershock in Alaska, 6.1. Aftershocks are likely to be ongoing a while there. We've also seen the Pacaya volcano in Guatemala continuing its uptick. After roaring back to life a few months ago, it's seen numerous of these smaller upticks. The mountain is definitively awake, but appears happy to take her time releasing the pressure at the moment. Folks, what you're looking at here is probably the best shot of Ganymede any of us have ever seen. The moon of Jupiter has had its north pole here snapped by Juno, and will likely not see a better shot of the mega moon in many years. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. It's the only one that makes its own magnetic field. It's bigger than Pluto and Mercury, and it's composed mostly of water ice. Nice aesthetic shot for the day. But right now, we're jumping out to cosmology, where things just keep getting weirder, funnier, more embarrassing, etc. for the astronomers. They are now suggesting a bulletproof method to measure the age of the universe puts it at 12.6 billion years old, more than a billion years younger than they had previously thought. Now, this not only suggests there are physics involved they do not understand, which is the understatement of the millennium, but folks, with there already being supermassive quasars, supermassive galaxies, and even some individual stars so old that they were challenging the timeline of the universe to be older, those things now scream even louder at the moving target, stepping further away from them. You can learn all about this in our video called The Cosmic Timeline is Wrong. It's linked below. But honestly, folks, if you didn't catch last night's video, that's the one to watch today. The solar system circuit quake triggering model is now complete. What on our sun can trigger earthquakes? Where do the stats point? Where do the papers and experts come down? And at a level that the comment section agrees can be understood by anyone. Would genuinely love your help sharing last night's video, even if it's just a like or a comment for the algorithm. Last night's paper is a battle axe. Use it. And last but not least, folks, we've got another signal that the electromagnetic character of the red planet is changing. While studying its atmosphere, they are noticing new chemistries, new abundances, and, sadly, they are likely being tricked into thinking the older data was incomplete rather than the fact that the planet's chemistry might actually be rapidly changing. Especially because the key item they look for, methane, keeps frustrating them, and instead they keep finding ozone. This production really could not have gone unnoticed in past missions, and its creation in the Martian atmosphere suggests a changing relationship with the Sun. This isn't quite like the unexplained seismic surge ongoing on the Red Planet, but it's close. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, again, last night's video, while I'm always encouraging your viewing, I try not to ask for your help sharing them with others too often. Today, that's not the case. We need to be a community on this one. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.